Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Manhattan, New York, so I'm coming back on here to you guys. So, if you guys follow my channel, um, if you guys are interested in seeing pics of me and my kids and their great-grandmother, today you can check out my Instagram page or my Facebook page or my Twitter. Um, so, as I was saying to you guys, so this is just like basically a TMI. There's like too much information all in one because you guys know when you're talking, all the thoughts come to your mind at once and then you have to filter out which ones you figure is like most important that will fit into a 15 minute video, which I'm not trying to make 15 minutes because I just posted an 8 minute video of a TMI. So this is basically TMI part 2. Um, so like I was saying to you guys, for me the the um there's there's a lot of racism going on and it has affected me like tremendously as you guys know I am a teen mother um I haven't seen um sufficient amount of finance for somebody of my age I see um maybe like a handful of African Americans that actually at 20 or 22 or 23 or 24 with a you know stable stable decent income and this is like this is affecting my life this is my everyday life so I make it my duty to go out to all the marches and all the rallies and peacefully protest because if they don't raise the minimum wage what am I going to be making when I finish college? When I get out of college and I've got my PhD because that's what I'm going to school for. And until I get my PhD in sociology and my PhD in psychology, I will not stop going to school. So once I get these degrees, what exactly am I going to be making if like the, the they're paying people like 100K for, for PhDs? And I'm like, once you get your PhD, I expect you to make, you know, a lot more over a hundred K it's like what am I looking forward to what exactly am I going to school for what exactly am I doing with myself you know like is it just a self goal is this just something that I'm saying to myself like okay I want to I want to tell you guys like I have the most amazing past couple of months like seriously being that I am a teen mom and um and I did have my first kid at 15 and I had my second kid at 16 and then I was pregnant again at 17. Um, I've been going like, I don't want to stereotype, stereotype, but I've been in a much more comfortable zone being that, um, I've been going to a predominantly Jewish school. So there's a lot of young mothers there as well. Not only are the young mothers, but they also young mother, young married mothers. So I felt a lot more comfortable than I felt in years like, I didn't feel as different as I usually feel. Like, I usually feel like I'm the elephant in the room because who has kids at 15, you know? Very rarely do you ever see somebody that has kids at 15. But I really, really, really felt so comfortable. Like, I, I really can't explain to you guys how comfortable I felt. Um, That was something that I was, like, you know, really feeling uncomfortable with. I didn't want to be outside of a... I didn't want to be like stereotyped and I didn't want people to like stigmatize me or to put me off to the side or to like label me as something. So basically I I kind of really wanted to be in this atmosphere because when I started college, I started college in this college that I'm attending now, just not at this location of this college because the college has, the college itself has multiple locations statewide, countrywide you know, United States wide, but I've never felt so comfortable in my life except for when I was around, you know, people with my own situation because a lot of the times other people, whether they say or not, they're looking down on me, you know, like family, even my own personal family members, they've come to me and made comments that have been really disrespectful, really out of place and looked down on me. And at the end of the day, you know, I feel like, you know, I did it, you know, I'm still here. I did it. Um, at the end of this semester, I'm supposed to have 60, 65 credits, which would make me start in my bachelor's. But unfortunately, one of the classes in the beginning that I started the class, the teacher told me that I was going to pass the class. Um, that was something she told me, you know, from the very beginning. That's what she told me face to face. 
and I am a person like this like I feel like you 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 know like you can't tell me no I have to go and I'm going to be persistent and I'm going to see it through and I'm going to make sure that I get it because it's something that I want so that's my character and that's my personality so I can I continue going to class every day um whether I felt good or not um especially like these um April April was when my kids got adopted um March was like when I lost my well m March was when I lost my parental rights and it was literally like a week before my daughter's birthday so um not lost my parental rights but March was when um I had I had um people had falsely called ACS on me and when they came they told me that the case was not fun fu funded the charges were not held up against me however um being which another reason why I'm going to school and I'm doing all this stuff because when you're a young parent like people do, like they'll be like do this and you be like no but because you have those kids and you're so young you end up being a slave to them so I've never felt more freer in my life um I can't explain this to you guys I'm not I'm not saying it's a good thing that I lost my kids but I'm saying to you guys that I've never felt more freer in my life when you are young and you have kids you are chained to those kids and people do stuff to you and harm you in ways that they could not be able to do had you been a little older a little more established because you would have definitely been able to you know tell them no instead of you know feeling uncomfortable and going and them pushing especially being that I came out the foster care system and I aged out to myself at 19 and now it's going to be six years come turning 25 this this August so it's going to be six years since I have my own apartment but um and I currently still have my two bedroom apartment as you guys know as you guys watch my videos but it's like being free like I am now you know I when I first got my apartment I still lived that cage life I still lived as if there was somebody controlling me or there was still somebody in charge of me so the past year I've actually decided that I was gonna live for myself and people are seeing me and telling me that I'm growing and I'm looking different but I finally decided that I was gonna live for myself like this whole year I've just lived for myself you know I went in I felt like I didn't want my keloids on my ears even though I had had the surgery two times already I went in for the third time and I was like you know what I'm gonna go in and do this I'm gonna fix this I do not feel as gorgeous as I could be with keloids hanging on the back of my ears these are stuff that I neglected because the most important thing was the kids and because keloids is like a cosmetic factor it's not a a physical you know it's not it, it can be a, it's an ailment because they're heavy and they hurt but it's not a life-threatening it at the area that it was on my body it was not it, it's not it wasn't for me a life-threatening you know issue so for me you know I just like you know put so much stuff to the side because it's like the kids the kids the kids the kids and then it was just me then there was me <laughs> and I I don't I I feel so happy guys like I I can't tell you guys how happy I feel but I really really feel so happy I'm in disbelief that my year my oldest is gonna turn nine in December because it is like I have a nine-year-old that is the reality I literally have a nine-year-old crazy but like I feel so very blessed my babies are graduating this year I'm, I'm sorry not graduating but going to the next grade so I feel so very blessed and before I know it they're gonna be graduating high school like they're gonna be graduating elementary then they're gonna be graduating high school my son was inviting me to his graduation um, being that he's turning nine he's going into the fifth grade but I'm pretty sure the school that he goes to the charter school he goes to you know it's um it's like goes up to like sixth grade most elementary school so <clears throat> excuse me guys he still has some time there but he's like mommy can you come to my graduation and he's telling me all this offense that his schools are having that his school is having this week and they want me to come and I remember that feeling of you know like asking my mom to come to events and she never came to any of my school events 
um while we had mother daughter dance um mother father dance um neither one of my parents came to them you know well we had um junior prom which is where you um your prom that you have in elementary school so it's different from your prom that you have in middle school and it's different from your prom that you have in high school she never came to that either so i used to sit and watch all the kids and their parents and my parents never came and at that time i was still in the custody of my mom so um you know it's like this stuff and i feel so proud because i actually never wanted to invite my mom or my dad to any of these events because of their method of reprimanding me through using belts sticks or whatever they could put their hands on so I actually never wanted to invite them and the teacher used to coach me to invite them and I used to try to invite I used to invite them and they would say they're not coming and I would kind of be angry at them because it's like after I didn't want to ask you I come and I ask you and you tell me no that's what you tell me. Like, it took me a lot of time to come and ask you this. This is what you tell me. You tell me no. So, it's like, you know, so I'm just like, I am growing. I am growing into the woman that I am supposed to be. And I feel so very blessed. Like, seriously, I feel so very blessed. Um, I can't even put this all together in words, guys. Um, For so many people to have gotten together and try to push me out of college because this is what they're doing now they're pushing us african americans predominantly out of college minorities not even just african americans us minorities because you know people like make it a me thing it's not a me thing it's about a minority um or a certain financial estate they're pushing us out of the colleges that's that's what they're doing they're telling us oh you're not gonna make it and then we get up and we walk out and we be like you know what? after all they did to us you know we're probably never gonna make it we're never gonna be anything and we get up and leave and that is basically push out that's what they do they push us to the point where you feel like you just can't take no more like i literally was gonna sign myself out of school um the week before last when i had that stupid meeting with the dean because i was so pissed off I felt like how dare him be talking to me. I I was so mad with him. Like, I take myself very, very seriously. So, I don't know. You know, when I got in that meeting, I was so angry. Like, I was irate. I was angry somebody could tell me don't come to class until I meet with them. And then I was just, like, so angry. I was so upset. I just felt like, what more could possibly happen? What more? What more? And I went in the meeting and I didn't go bizarre and I didn't go irate. So I feel so very blessed that I have such amazing people around me. And that, um, you know, God, who is the first, the head of my life. Because, you know, sometimes you go places and people could be wrong. But I, you know, I'm willing to wait on God. Because I, if I know if I wait on God, he will definitely deliver me from everything. And if somebody is wrong and they do me wrong and they try to harm me, I know he will plead my cause. So... Thumbs up this video, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel, stay updated with me and my life. I do anticipate um, passing three of my other classes, which means that I officially have my associate's degree, guys. And I can feel it in my hands. So this is real. Unfortunately, I didn't start my BA, but I got my AA. And I plan on the fall to going back to school because I said I was going to save up money to go to school during the summer just to go straight through. But I didn't save up money. So I don't know if I do if I do decide to go to school during the summer, which I don't think I'm going to do because because of my health, I do need my summers off. Like I would like to like fast track this thing and just like go to school for a whole consistent year. But at the end of the day, I can only take four credits, um, six, six credits during the summer, two classes. So. You know, thumbs up this video, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel, stay updated, me and my life, you guys, I do say, mwah, 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 mwah.